thank you for watching. My name is Raphael Waits. I'm the Operations Analyst for ABC Unified School District in the IT Department. Today, we're going to show you how to operate the new Avaya phones. We'll show you the buttons, we'll show you the headset, we'll show you how to mute a call, how to place a call on hold, we'll show you how to make outside calls, and we'll also show you how to transfer, and we'll show you how to use the voicemail features of your phone. Thank you for watching. So welcome to the J139 Avaya training for your desk phones and your classroom phones. These are the J139s and most of these phones will be found in classrooms. As you can see, you have a display window here, you have a function light, you have three, four buttons on the side right here, you have a set of soft keys that appear in the window here, and also hard keys to press here on the soft keys that appear above. You also have a track wheel with uh, cursors, and also have the main functions here for your home page for your phone, your message button key, also your key for your contacts, and also your settings key. Moving down the line, you have your contacts key that shows you the most recent contacts. You have your keypad, your dialing pad. You have your settings for your headset, and you also have your settings for your speaker. You can mute your phone by going pressing this button right here, and also this raises and lowers the volume of the call itself. In your main display, you will see your extension number and also the name of where your location. In some days or areas, it will show the school's name as well. You have your main line is line A, and the ones that follow line B and line C will be your rollovers to your main line. So if someone's to call you on your main line and you're busy, you will see that second call come in on your other rollover lines, lines B and sometimes C. This phone only has B, but most phones will have B and C. To make a call on your J139, simply, Pick up the handset and you will hear a dial tone. Another way to do that is by pressing the speaker key and you will also hear a dial tone. For the purposes of our demonstration, I'll be using the speaker key so that you can hear what is going on, okay? The drop call hangs up the phone, okay? So again on speaker, we can now dial an extension number that we would like to dial. I'm gonna dial one that's pre-set up, 21137. So notice the soft keys appear as you can use them. When the call is connected, notice you have an additional set of, of soft keys that appear. Again, the soft keys only appear when you can use them. So notice we can now put the call on hold. We can put that call into a conference. We can now transfer that call or drop that call, meaning hang up that call, okay? So notice that. So to, to hold a call, you simply put it on hold. And now that call is on hold. You can look at other information that you need to look at and then get back to that person by pressing that flashing light. And now that call that was on hold is no longer on hold. Again, to place a call on hold that is now in, in, your, in your queue, you simply place it on hold. It'll flash letting you know that call is on hold. To pick up the hold, you just simply press that number. Okay? And now that call is no longer on hold. To transfer that call to a different extension, you simply press transfer. You'll get a dial tone, and then you will dial the number that you want to uh, transfer to. You can say complete, and then that person will hear the call, or you can hang on and talk to that person. Let them know they have a caller. Once you press complete, the two sides are connected, and you are no longer in the conversation. Your phone goes back to normal. Those two callers are now talking to each other, okay? I would suggest that you put it on complete, you complete the call so that that person on the other end can hear the call ring. And then they can process through the call that way. Sometimes if you wait till it's connected and press complete, the two people won't know that they're connected, okay? So, dialing an outside number. To dial an outside number on the J139s is very simple. You simply get a dial tone by picking up the handset or hitting the speaker button, and you dial eight, as a bypass number. Instead of nine, we're dialing eight now. And then you dial the area code and then number. And that's it. You just simply wait for it to connect. When you're dialing any number, you have to dial the eight and then the area code and then the number itself. You have to dial the area code even if you're in the same area code of 562. You still have to dial eight, then one, then 562 on all your outside numbers. Voicemail. 
Every phone is equipped with voicemail. Whether or not that voicemail is activated or not depends on what your individual school site has set. Majority of our teachers' phones do have voicemail, and the way you access your voicemail is by hitting this voicemail button right here that looks like a little envelope. That is your voicemail button. When you press that, it will give you options that you can do. You can listen to your voicemail, as you can see, and use your track wheel to scroll down. You can create a message that you can send to other people or multiple people, or you can create a greeting for your phone, and you can set a passcode for your phone. To set a greeting for your phone, simply press, put, put your wheel track on greeting, press select, and then you will see a button where you can record, listen, and then more. So let's record a greeting real quick for this phone. To record a greeting, you simply press record. You have called the extension for the depot room at the district office. Please leave a message and someone will call you back. Thank you. And then you stop, right? You can listen to that message. You have called the extension for the depot room at the district office. Please leave a message and someone will call you back. Thank you. If you're not satisfied with your call, you can always press record and to do the process again. When you're finished, you need to press submit and that will send your message to the queue so that people will hear when they call. And that is how you create your greeting. All right. To get back to the main, to your main page at any time, you just simply press the top key here, and that is your home key. So anytime you're somewhere where you don't recognize or that looks unfamiliar and you don't know where you are, just press this key right here and it will get you back to your home station. And your home station shows your extension number and your location. Sometimes it'll show your name or your school site, okay? So that's how you get to your main. This is your escape key. So no matter where you are, if you're unfamiliar with it, to get back to your home screen, press this button right here. Okay. To retrieve your messages, you simply press the message key and you're going to look for listen. Notice that it says two slash zero and zero. The two means how many new messages you have. The zero means how many saved. And zero means how many uh, uh, messages that you uh, have uh, copied over. Okay. So what you're doing, after you do listen, you can select to listen, and it shows you that you have two new. You select the new, and it will show you those messages that you can actually scroll down to to see which one you want to hear. It will give you information about the call, like the time it called and the date. And then if you uh, click over to the left, you can actually hear that message. This is Raphael testing this phone. Okay, now you can go more and you can leave, have options to delete or save or copy that message. So we're going to delete that message. Yes. Okay. Yes. Testing one, two, and now this three, is the second four, message that's coming five. in. Testing one, two, three, four, and we can delete that five, message. Six. Okay, now we go back to our home screen and notice all of our messages has been queued. Receiving calls. When your phone rings, you're receiving calls. You can see the number that the or the area or the number that the call is coming from. You can send that call to voicemail, you can ignore it, or you can drop the phone. If you drop, it's gonna send it to voicemail. If you ignore, it's gonna to continue to ring. So if you answer the phone, you can answer by pressing the answer key. You can also conference out. You can uh, transfer. Again, the, the drop keys are all here. The soft keys are all here. You can select what you want based upon where you are in the queue. This light means you have a message, right? So you can drop this call by hanging up, right? You can retrieve your message by clicking on the message key, and you can listen to that message that came in by pressing select. It'll show you the new message, select again, and you can play that message. And it was no message, it was just a hang up. So then you can go back to more, and then you can delete, save, or copy that message. So we're gonna delete. Go back, tap your home screen to get you to your home place to transfer a call. To transfer a call is simple. Once the call comes in, you can answer the call, send it to voicemail, ignore or drop. We're going to answer that call, and then now we'll be able to transfer or put it on conference or hold. So the transfer is simple. You press the transfer button, and when you press the transfer button, you will get a dial tone. What your party, calling party, will hear is beeps. They'll hear a couple of beeps, beep, 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 beep. So you get a dial tone and then you dial 
the number you want to transfer to, and you can press complete, and they're going to hear that phone ring, and then whatever that phone setting is to go to voicemail or someone's going to answer it, that's what will happen on the back end. And that's simply how you transfer the phone. Now, you can stay on the line and let it ring and answer that person, but it will not connect to that person unless you press the complete. Customization. Now, there are some features that we allow for customization. So to customize your phone and some of the things, you hit this button right here at the top. And you can go to Applications and Settings. If you go to Settings, you have settings for your phone, your audio, and also your display. If you go to your phone settings, right, you, can, uh, you can decide whether or not your alerts are coming on your phone or not. And you can toggle them off or on, back and forth. Mainly, they're already set, so you won't have to worry about that one. However, there's another one that you will do for the audio. Sometimes some of you have headsets, so if you need an audio path, automatic gain is on. If you need to change your audio path to de default to your speaker, you can toggle back to different things like your speaker, to headset, to a speaker, to your headset, default speakers. We're going to leave it on default speakers because that's the default. Your display. This is something a lot of people play with. If your display, you can change the background setting of your display by clicking on this button here, your primary display, and you can select different ones for preview and see what it looks like. <clears throat> There's different images for dark. You can change the abstract. You can select different colors. So all these are done right here under the, the settings menu, right? These are the different options that you have. Uh, so you can select those different options and preview it. It'll change what you're looking at your screen. So you can select, once you select what you want, you can preview it. Select and then preview what it looks like. It'll, ch it'll change and you can also change the uh, background as well. So you can have fun playing with this. You're not gonna hurt the phone. We highly recommend that you, you play with it. Once you find one that you like, you just press save and that'll lock it in, okay? On the back of these phones, there is a place where you can plug in a headset. So it's clearly marked and once that headset is in, you'll be using this function right here for the headset, right? And that's once you press that button that the calls will now come through your headset and process through your headset. And that's as simple as that. If you want your calls to come through your speakers so you can hear them, you press this button. If you want your calls to be silent so only you can hear, you just pick up the headset, the handset and talk. If you have a headset, you use the headset speaker right here, button right here, and pressing that will activate the headset and all your sounds will come through the headset. It's very simple. If you're in a call and you ever need to mute the call, you can always put the call on hold, but if you need to mute it temporarily, you can press the mute button, and that will silence the call. Now, this mute button only, it's a soft key, so it only works when you can actually use it. But when you can, if you engage with a call, and you pick that call up, now you're able to actually use the mute button. But you can't use the mute button when there's nothing to mute. So just notice that that mute button will only light blue when you're actually on mute. That prevents the caller from hearing anything that you're saying. You can't muff these phones by putting your hand over the, over the mouthpiece because the, the sound will carry through. So if you ever need to mute, just use that quick mute button function or you can put the call on hold, okay? When a call comes in, it'll also show the, the beacon light flashing and it'll also toggle here. There's multiple ways you can answer it by pressing the speaker phone, by picking up the handset or pressing here and now you're answering the phone, okay? Now, to, uh, it's on, and it also engages the speaker phone a, as well. So when you press here, it's almost as if like you're picking up the speaker phone, okay? You're not on the headset. To silence the call so only you can hear the caller, just pick up the headset and it'll take away the speaker phone function, okay? To go back to the speaker phone function, just press that button right there, okay? And you can toggle that back and forth at will. There are times when you may want to send a voicemail message directly into someone's box without ringing their phone. Case in point, if you are a secretary and you are in charge of a principal's phone, you may want to send that voicemail message to the principal's phone, but you don't want the phone to ring. When the call comes in, of course, you're gonna answer the phone. And as you're on the phone, you're able to transfer that phone to another person's mailbox by pressing the mailbox key, right? Phone have to be active, and then you press the mailbox key. The mailbox key will see where do you want to transfer the mailbox to. You just simply enter the number of your of your boss or the person you wanted to go to or the person you wanted to, the message to go to without ringing their phone. Two one zero one one, and then I will say select, and then that sends that message 
to Mr. Waits' phone. It doesn't ring his phone. Mr. Waits will look up and he'll see that he have a message. It didn't ring his phone, didn't disturb his conversation. He will just look up and see he has a message and then he will do the normal things to retrieve that message.